when connectivity across different locations of an enterprise is considered, VPN and MPLS have been the widely preferred solutions. Both MPLS and VPN are completely different technologies where MPLS uses labels to form tunnels in WAN service provider domain which are extended to customer locations while VPN technologies form secure tunnels using encryption over internet. Let's take a closer look on differentiators between these two technology types in terms of various parameters. In terms of scope of operation, MPLS operates only on carrier network while keeping customer traffic segregated. On the other hand, VPN can work both on internet connections and carrier network connections. Next, with respect to technology type, MPLS is a multipoint technology connecting multiple customer sites while VPN can work both on point-to-point -point and multi-site technology. Site-to-site -site VPN is an example of point-to-point -point connection while DMVPN is an example of multi-site connection over the VPN. When it comes to controlling the traffic, in case of former, the service provider has more control on traffic routing, while in case of VPN, customer has majority of control. When we consider location limitation, MPLS has the downside that it can only be provisioned in locations where the same service provider network is rolled out at all the sites. VPN has a big advantage over MPLS that it can be set up at any location having internet connectivity of any provider. Some common terms related to MPLS and MPBGP technology are LDP, VRF, RD, RT, while IPsec, SSL and DMVPN are terms related to VPN. Cloud services have limited availability for MPLS based customers while on VPN there are wide array of cloud services which are available. Hardware sizing for MPLS considers MPLS WAN bandwidth whereas VPN considers many factors like internet bandwidth, encryption, DES or AES type of encryption, concurrent VPN tunnels while sizing the suitable hardware to support VPN. On the OSI layer, MPLS works between layer 2 and layer 3 where the labels are inserted. On the other hand, VPN is an application layer technology and works on layer 7. Encryption is an important security posture to protect crucial customer information. By default, MPLS does not encrypt the customer traffic, whereas VPN uses encryption to protect customer information over unsecured internet. Some applications use multicast for communication. MPLS provides favorable path for multicast traffic while IPsec VPN uses uh, no multicast traffic that is it does not support multicast traffic. In scenarios where it's essential to use multicast in that case GRE over IPsec is provisioned which has its own caveats. The target customers for MPLS are primarily large enterprises. On the contrary, VPN is preferred in case of small and medium sized enterprises. Provisioning and management of MPLS devices are performed by the service providers, while VPN gateway and endpoints are mostly managed by customers. For connectivity, MPLS requires same service provider network in contrast to VPN which can work outside one service provider domain. Cost and SLA for MPLS is higher than VPN. So, in a way, we can say that shedding enough money provides better service availability. Another factor which can affect the commercial aspect and related overheads is ease of CPE configuration. MPLS wins the race due to simpler CPE configuration as compared to VPN, which requires highly skilled resources to perform VPN gateway configuration. 
QS and traffic preference becomes very important for organizations having multiple locations since a reliable and improved customer experience is directly related to increase in revenue. Traffic prioritization is doable in scenario of MPLS while VPN traffic cannot be prioritized over internet and always remains best effort. So last in the list is deployment time. MPLS link feasibility is time consuming and may take weeks while VPN only requires public IP reachability and therefore deployment time becomes much faster. Thank you.